Happy New Year everybody, this is Tanya and today I'm going to show you how we're bringing together our New Year's dinner using some of the items from our pantry. Remember, you have this food, use it. So we'll be having black eyed peas, you know it's New Year, you're supposed to have black eyed peas. I don't know what that's about but anyway, depending on who you talk to, some people say greens. So I have some greens too. Now, these are frozen on, uh, frozen okra. Sandra doesn't like okra. I, my mom and I, we both eat them, but Sandra doesn't eat them. But I am planning on eventually pickling some okra as well. But anyway, these are just be, um, I guess, saute them, whatever you want to call it, the okra. And for my beans, as well as my greens, I have some green tomato chow chow. We send your mate as well. So the chow chow, the collard greens, and the black eyed peas, I'll leave those in the description. So if you're interested in learning how to can those, you can go take a look at that. And I like smoked pork chop, or at least I was having them. I was fiending for some smoked pork chop, let's put it that way. So it's either that or ham. <laughs> so um, I got me some Smithfield pork chop. And these are already done, just so you know. All you're doing is warming them through. So I have my oven preheated at 350. I don't know if it tells you what to put it on. Let's see. Now this is my pan, fry, grill, microwave. I'm not doing all that. I'm going to stick it in the oven. So let me open this up. Stay out there. So like I said, these are already done. All you're doing is heating them through. And you fix yours the way you want to fix them. Now, they do have some without the bone. I usually buy with the bone in. Because that's my personal preference, but you buy what you like. And normally, you know, you don't see me use a whole lot of pepper. But in this incident, this is how I grew up eating it. So, I'm going to sprinkle a little black pepper on it. No salt, just black pepper. Okay, and we're going to put this in the oven and let it heat through. Probably take about 15, 20 minutes at 350. So stick this in the oven. Set my timer for 15 minutes. Okay. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll get these greens and peas to warm it up. Let me bring it down so you can see what I'm doing. Like that, all this stuff is already done. All you're doing is heating it through. How simple is that? Now I'm only opening one can. I mean one jar, excuse me. But depending on how you can yours, you open as many jars as you need. I only need one of each. So and here's the black eyed peas. I think I'm gonna put the okras in that. Let's see if these peas can come out. They're so densely packed in here. Now this is the thing, the uh, problem we were having, which I think we got the racial thing fixed, figured out on the peas and stuff, because they end up soaking up a lot of water. <clears throat> Excuse me, they end up soaking up a lot of water. Now what I'm going to do we got a lot of peas. First of all, I'm gonna see if that's gonna be enough moisture for me. If not, 
which I'm thinking is probably not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, I think we have some ham, better than bouillon, around here somewhere. If not, we have some, I know we have some um, beef. And I'm just going to stir a little bit of that up and pour it in here. And heat it, we should give it some flavor. I mean, give it some liquid as well as some flavor. And then for my okra, let me move this to the side for right now. And my okra. Like I said, I don't know what the instructions say. I'm going to tell you what I do. They're good and frozen. I'm not going to do too many of them because like I said, only my mom and I eat them. Sandra don't eat them. So. See how frozen it is? Half enough. And so my okra, what I'm going to do is put some, slap your mama on it, of course. Do that to taste. And I got a half a stick of butter that's left over from something else. Probably overkill with the butter, but whatever. I'm just going to stick it in there. And we're just going to heat that up. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything started heating. Like I said, pr probably end up doing some um, broth to go into this. Because I don't think this is going to be enough. And let everything heat up. Once my pork chops are done, I'll be ready to eat. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, everybody, I'm back. And with the uh, black eyed peas, I did add some uh, additional liquid to it. And I used the better than bouillon ham. A teaspoon of this with eight ounces of water per the instructions. And just added it to my beans. And I taste it. It's the bone. Okay. I'm just saying. It's delicious. And like I said, my pork chops are done. My okra. Everything's just heating right now. My okra is finished. My beans. And my greens. Quick dinner. Quick New Year's dinner. New Year's Eve dinner. Oh, let's not forget the chow chow. Again, this is the green tomato chow chow that Sandra made. And again, I'll leave the uh, link to the videos in the description below for the chow chow, the greens, because these are the collard greens. She also did mustard as well. I'll leave the description, I mean the link in the description for chow chow, greens, and black eyed peas. All right. So again, this is our New Year's dinner. Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much for supporting our little channel. It's greatly appreciated. And we will see what comes up the year 2022. I'm sure it's going to bring fabulous things for you as well as for us. So y'all have a blessed day, blessed new year, and leave a legacy. All right, talk to you later. Bye.